Welcome back to the Real Couch Rise podcast where we overanalyze all things Bravo. This week we are recapping Vanderpump Rules Season 11, Episode 7. And we have taken a quick break from the Sandoval Redemption arc, it seems, and have gone full-fledged into the Ariana bashing storylines, which I am not here for. Not here for. The girls are officially fighting. It's uh, the, the time has come. <laughs> the girls are fighting. And I feel like when we think back of what we thought this season would be... This is not where I thought it was going. I did not think that the girls would turn against each other. Like, hello, Mm -hmm. Target is over there. So quickly, so quickly. And I think that, like, we knew a little bit that this was potentially what was going to happen. We could tell that there were tensions between Katie and Lala. And, like, those indicators were already kind of out there in the atmosphere. And we still don't even have, like, the full story of, like, what's happened there. And Lala has talked about it on her podcast, and she still hasn't given us, like, any re- real details. But oh, it's just so upsetting to see, like, these, like, female friendships be, you know, te- torn apart by this, like, stupid, stupid scandal. I just, I don't understand. It's so upsetting. Um, but, yeah, let's get into the episode. Yeah. It was it was action-packed. I had to pause multiple <laughs> times to take notes. Um So they start with Sandoval coming back from Lake Tahoe. Not much here um, except for him telling Anne, the assistant, whom we love, Mm -hmm. um, like, yeah, it was great. People are humanizing me again. I'm feeling really optimistic. And then he's like, I'm going to go unpack my clothes and my feelings. And then he tells (laughs) us he's going to go journal because he has changed. He's Mm -hmm. a changed man and he journals. And I just felt like they needed to show us that. Like they were just like, we need to show that he's going to go journal now. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him grow. He's so mature. Later, he'll buy ice cream. So that is another (laughs) pivotal moment. Yeah. (laughs) So much going on for Tom Sandoval. Yeah, he's doing great. Uh, (laughs) So then we have the scene that we had saw, the scene that we were given a preview to last week that we talked about briefly, which is when Sheena goes over to Lisa's house. Sheena actually asked for this meeting, apparently. She asked for the meeting to set up. Um, This is very clearly the meeting where they are going to show that Mm -hmm. Ariana sucks. Well, that is what they're trying to say. Ariana (laughs) is the enemy. She's the problem. Yeah. So Sheena goes over. She's telling her about how Lake Tahoe was. She's like, I've never cried so much. Like, my eyelashes. Like, it just, like, hurt. (laughs) um and sheena says that she's finally starting to grieve her friendship with sandoval um to which lisa right on cue is like oh and you feel like you can't do that because of ariana and you'll Mm -hmm. upset her like (laughs) i feel like they have cue cards that they're like literally literally it feels like they have cue cards yeah and then she's like well i try to but ariana doesn't want to hear it and then um because yeah of course like why of course we would be upset that Ariana doesn't want to hear you complaining about yeah. you wanting to be friends with her ex who has <laughs> screw- I just, anyways yeah it, I know it, it boggles the mind it boggles the mind it boggles the mind but it gets crazier and then they talk about the dancing with the stars and Ansley and the way that they frame this is as mm-hmm. if like something horrible has happened yeah. like I feel like this was so dramatic um sheena basically says that i guess like part of it was that she didn't tell her directly like she found mm-hmm. out from ariana's boyfriend who's like oh they're gonna have the announcement she's like one announcement she's like the dancing with the stars and then lisa puts her hand in her head in her hands and goes oh my god <laughs> you wanted that that was for you right she's, that that kind of is like we we had we had plans like we had been yeah. trying to get that for you like yeah. like had, had As something if. put in the works or something yeah right. she's like you told me back when i did dancing with the stars how much you mm-hmm. wanted that mm-hmm. i don't know why i'm trying to do a, a ha- no, i'm like I half it. doing it but i'm like not <laughs> no, it's fully <laughs> no, it's <okay. laughs> yeah well and it's so convenient because lisa obviously has to bring up the fact that she did dancing with the stars first i did right. it first i did it that. i <laughs> set the standard and mm-hmm. then um, she's like, yeah, Sheena's like, I've been preparing. I got a dancing coach and I've been practicing in case they would call me, mm-hmm. which is like, it's kind of like, what, you must why would you put think yourself that? forward? For yeah. It. Like, like you must, like it, it must just be like, not something that like comes out out of the blue. Like you must have to like apply. Yeah. And then I guess Ariana maybe had like, just like more attention at the time. Yeah. But yeah. then she even said on, on, um, watch what happens live when Ariana was on, she's like, I thought that maybe by me going on, it can like mm-hmm. open up the door for yeah. the rest of the castmates. Which I'm makes like, total sense. 
I'm just so many housewives have done it now too. Sorry. Well, yeah, <laughs> no, no. And I'm just so confused with the way that they're framing the story. Like, what is their alternative? Like, did they want Ariana to be like, no, thank you, but here, mm -hmm. please yeah. take Sheena. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like in Gossip Girl when like only one girl from Constance can be <laughs> can go to Yale, and when it's not going to be Serena Vanderwoods, and it can then be it can then be Blair. It's just like <laughs> that's how that's how the Dancing with the Stars works too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there can only be one. Be one. Um, but yeah, one it's just like it's so crazy. And then Sheena's like, you know. In her confessional, she's like, I can be both sad for me and happy for her. And that's fair. You yeah. definitely can. But then she immediately follows that up with, Ariana's come a long way from being my backup dancer. And then there's a little smirk. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so that's where we're like, okay, now we're seeing through this. Like, you 100% mm -hmm. can be sad for yourself and happier for your friend. That happens yeah. a lot. But that is not how you're framing this. Mm -hmm. um, and then it gets even worse. Then Lisa's like, you know, if your friendship's truly as good as you tell me it is, which, like, f felt like a very leading kind of yes. sentence, Yes. then you should be able to tell her how you feel. And then uh, Sheena's like, no, she shuts me down. And then Lisa's like, well, if you... Do you want a relationship where you blind, like, not blindly, but you just support someone mm -hmm. even though you're devastated? And then she's like, story of my life. <sighs> ah, such a victim. I'm such a victim. Everything only ever happens to me. I have no role in how things play out. And it's never about her. Oh, my God. Okay, never but here I, immedi <laughs> I immediately thought about, do you remember the season of her first wedding? Yeah. When Ariana was a bridesmaid, but then Kristen yes. was everywhere too. And Kristen yes. was like horribly bullying Ariana. Yeah. But Sheena was like, this is my day. Like, suck yeah. it up. And then Ariana would, Ariana would go and literally like cry in a bathroom by herself mm -hmm. to be there for Sheena. Mm -hmm. Like, I know. <laughs> I know. A friend to everyone is a friend to no one. Like, come yeah. on, Sheena. The whole, the whole story, this this whole episode of like Sheena, nothing's ever about Sheena. Mm -hmm. Like she's just like there for everyone else and not herself. Yeah. Someone actually put a compilation of like all the time Sheena, like it was yeah. about Sheena. There yeah. was multiple, we've seen two weddings. Two weddings, like countless fights. You've also like inserted yourself in so many of these dynamics. Like you your hands are not clean you are not like just like some innocent victim that things happen to like you insert yourself into this show you are as, as a part of this show as anybody is like there's no like oh sheena's like you know baby in the corner or anything no which is what she's totally. treating like yeah so that was a fun scene and then mm -hmm. it was a great scene <laughs> and then we move on to um, another fun scene with Lala and Ariana mm -hmm. who are out for lunch, which is just kind of crazy after seeing the way that Ariana, not Ariana, that Lala and Sheena have been speaking about Ariana, like yeah. to now see these scenes that they have with her. Mm -hmm. um, so and so basically they go, they're just having a they stroll. They go for like smoothies like, or something. Yeah. <laughs> Iced coffee, who knows? Yeah. One thing is Ariana was saying that she doesn't like get angry that much and she liked, I guess... Um, being able to like hit things or like mm. she likes being able to take out her aggression mm -hmm. and then production was so dirty and they showed yeah. like these three scenes of her yelling yeah but it was only three scenes it was only three scenes and they were over like multiple seasons Ooh. like and like one of them was when she found out that she was being cheated on <laughs> yeah so i feel like there's like some pretty normal reasons to be yelling in those moments yeah i felt like that was not super fair yeah. Um, so then Lala brings up the whole, like, Sheena's getting destroyed online because of the photo mm -hmm. she took with Tom and you didn't come to her defense. Um, and Ariane's like, I didn't want to make it like more of a thing. And she's like, well, mm -hmm. it is a thing. Like you like move your finger and like, you're, you're a part of it. So like, yeah. you're always scrolling through social media. Like you're telling yeah. me you can't just make one post. Like, oh my gosh. Like, why are we making this such a big thing? Yeah. Well, and also like, did she, she like calls us like her stands, which like, obviously is like the oh, normal yeah. like internet thing. Like that's not a weird thing to say, but it kind of like co contributes to this idea of us, us like having this like mob mentality. We have no ideas. We have no thoughts of our own. We are just like this mob that attacks Sheena on behalf of Ariana. And it's like, no, we, anybody, like, I have to admit, I didn't post on it, but like anybody that, went after Sheena or was like annoyed by Sheena didn't do that because of oh we're team Ariana we did it because we're like oh this is what Sheena does 
and all of us have Sheena's number, and all of us know that this and this is exactly what we expected but, from Sheena. We knew but, that this is who she was. It's true. It's true. And honestly, when this happened, I actually think that I took the stance of like, you know what? It's a group photo. Like, yeah. I, I don't think we should read too much into this. But like, she proved us right. Like, she is proving us right mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. So that's just it. We got like- mad at her back in July when we knew that this is what she was gonna <laughs> do, and now here she is, and it's playing out. And we're like, oh yeah, that's exactly what we expected. That's exactly why we were mad. And apparently, it's Ariana's fault, even though it's actually our fault, and it's actually Sheena's fault, and it's actually Tom Sandoval's fault, not Ariana's fault. Yeah. And then uh, like. Spoiler alert, she does actually post to basically back off Sheena. Yeah. She's been so nice to Sheena this entire time. I do really think their friendship was going to change after seeing the season. Yes. Like, because she not. did not see a lot of the confessionals and a lot of the like conversations between Lala and mm-hmm. uh, and Sheena that yeah. are definitely not painting her in a good light, which is essentially what she said on Watch What Happens Live. Like, she was mm-hmm. disappointed and, like, you know, it was very hurtful, like, obviously. <laughs> Understandably. I'd be hurt. <laughs> Yeah, to see them basically perpetuating like Sandoval story. Mm-hmm, um, also, I have to apologize. I hope you. I don't know if you can hear my dog eating really loud. I don't know if oh. the mic is able to pick that up. <laughs> That's so funny because I thought that it was Daisy, <laughs> my cat. <laughs> That's like Daisy. So, You're so loud today. <laughs> so yeah, this problem. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so it's one of our animals. It's impossible yeah. to know. <laughs> Well, loud ears in this family yeah. um <laughs> so then kind of the end of this is that um oh lala says you know sheena went to bat for you and like she was so ride or die for you that she like got a restraining order for you and it's like okay this is also changing the narrative that the restraining mm-hmm. order was, was because she was so ariana was for ariana it's also ariana because she was, was like go beat her up for me right and it's like, like- and people have their own reasons to be bad at Tom Sandoval. Like, it's not just because of Ariana. And mm-hmm. if anything, they're actually showing that that was the main reason they were mad at him. And now that mm-hmm. they can kind of, like, get an apology for what was done to them, they're fine yeah. to just kind of, like, be exactly. like, Ariana, get over it. Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. We're good now. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it also just makes me feel like th- this all is just, like, so fake. Like, I, it's just this is not real. This is not a real friend dynamic anymore. These people are, are are just in it because of the reality TV show and because of the money and like the friendships are gone. Like except for Katie and Ariana who seem to have a legitimate friendship, and I yeah. guess the Toms, but that's because they're like linked together f- for life. It's so sad, and that's why it's becoming way less fun to watch. And and again, I said it last episode, but like I feel like we're being manipulated, and it's and it's hitting us over the head. Like it's mm-hmm. not subtle. It is. <laughs> like, it is. It's so yeah. Well, speaking of manipulated, that like the <laughs> next thing that Lala says to Ariana is like, you know, she's really struggling. She's like a shell of herself. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, can you just tell her like, you know, I love you, and like whatever you need to do to heal is okay Mm -hmm. basically reading between the lines tell her she can be friends with tom sandoval again tell her you forgive her yeah yeah and ariana's like oh i can definitely tell her that i love her because that is true Mm -hmm. um but like these are my barriers like these are my boundaries essentially like she knows where i stand like Mm -hmm. (laughs) and uh, that's i just i can't get over the fact that like lala is allowed to create boundaries like all these other people are allowed to create boundaries but the second that ariana tries to create a boundary it's like oh no you can't do that you're not allowed to do that because we're we have a tv show to film here so you're not allowed to have a boundary you have to see your ex-boyfriend you have to be friends with him you have to be okay with sheena wanting to be best friends with him too it's so confusing and then also just like putting out all these false narratives that we're gonna Mm -hmm. get into a little bit later um and then yeah basically ariana's just like ariana's like well sorry like that's where i stand and lala's like no like you can't do that like you can't just shut it down and Ariana's like, I am not down. Like, I'm not the one to come to with the Tom Sandoval sympathy train. Mm-hmm. Like, and then Amen. Lala's like, but she lost one of her best friends. And she's like, so did I, too. Like, who do they think they're talking to? Like, I just like, uh, it's so out of touch that it's just it like beyond. It is. And we get into it a little bit later, too, with like the, the girls night and stuff, too. But like, I just can't believe that they don't think that like Ariana is dealing with any of these things because she's had this financial success like she can't be struggling with tom sandoval she can't be struggling with rachel she can't be struggling with any of these things like betrayal the manipulation the years of gaslighting any of this stuff because she's financially successful 
Yeah, so, it's like painting it in such like a one dimensional picture. It's like, oh, mm-hmm. you outwardly look happy and you yeah. have so these opportunities. It. So you must yeah. be doing great. Yeah. And now let's look at Sheena because she, she does not have. Struggling. Yeah, she is not struggling <laughs> and she does not have the opportunities. Like, anyways. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of going to continue. I'm sure mm-hmm. the whole season, like just the um, whole season. <laughs> it's, it's going to be horrible. <laughs> It's so fun. Um, then we have a lunch scene with Lala, Sheena, Katie, and Christina Kelly. Yeah, this was a fun scene. I liked that Christina Kelly was back for a little bit of mess. They had like too many other people in this episode that were just like, oh, great, randoms in this episode. Um, uh, but at least Joe. Christina Kelly was uh, okay with. Yeah, <laughs> mainly Joe. Um, I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah, so then again, we're getting the recounting of Lake Tahoe for a third time this episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Sheena says for the first time she saw genuine tears from Tom Sandoval, and Katie's like, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't buy it for a second. Um, and then I do appreciate Christina Kelly just coming in and just like getting straight to the point. Um, mm-hmm. And she's like, do you think that Tom is more sad about losing your friendship than his relationship with Ariana? And Sheena's response. Okay, I want to know how you feel about her response. Yes, of course, because he was so unhappy with Ariana for so long. That's a different take from Sheena. I know. I was furious. I couldn't believe it because she is like, we saw it last week. We said it last week. She was just buying into his narrative. She's now like propagating his narrative and saying, yeah, like they were unhappy. They were not in a good place. And we all knew that Raquel was and Sandoval were having an affair. Is basically what Sheena is like saying here. Yeah, and she's like, yeah, we they were not in a good place. They were not in a good relationship, so they can't be sad about their relationship being over. Me and Tom Sandoval's relationship was perfect, and it was amazing. And I can be sad, and he misses me because misses I'm the most me. important person. I'm the center of the universe. He literally told you at the reunion, and apparently during the car ride. Or, like, when, when they found out everything was going on, he said that they weren't even that good friends. Yeah. And he also continued to say that Sheena punched Raquel, yeah. which has Up legal implication. Episode. Up yeah. until last episode when he was like, yeah, Raquel was totally allowed to file that restraining order. I 100% yeah, he's believe still that he, saying he's that. the reason he's still that, she, that she did that. Like, I think that he made her do that. He was like, yeah, you should file a restraining order against and Sheena. Like, this is the dude. This is, this is the dude. This is this the dude. Is the but yeah, like honestly, this, this is part is so infuriating. And then like also at the after show, it continues to be told like now Lala and Sheena are talking about how they understand why Tom wouldn't want to end the relationship because they were <sighs> intertwined basically in a business. And Lala's like, oh, I also was like, I have a podcast with Randall. And like, I thought about maybe that would be a reason to stay. And like, I can understand why he stayed with her. And you're just like, unbelievable what what do they have on you yeah like like are you guys okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, literally. do you need help it's like we're taking crazy pills like i just don't get it like it's like we're taking crazy pills because i just there's no other explanation for it it's it's so insane and britney said it too britney's like yeah you know like Jax and i are super intertwined too and you're like oh um, <laughs> not the point that i think you think it is pretty <laughs> based on what we are now going to see this yeah. is not great this is not great um, no and then she actually uses like britney and Jax as an example of like you know they had a baby together i didn't actually understand the point they were trying to make were they like we were surprised they had a baby together and now they're fine or now they're not fine do you, do you like i didn't understand why she I, brought it up in that no, lunch I'm, no I don't understand why she brought it up. I have to admit, it didn't make any sense. I guess I just she just wanted line. to be like, oh, we know that Jax is going to come onto the season, so I guess we better start talking about him. Yeah, and then yeah. Katie took the opportunity to be like, well, there, there's still crazy stuff like going around about him. Mm-hmm. Um, she does not which I respect. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do respect that. I too. respect her saying it. I don't respect yeah. Jax's <laughs> no, actions. No. <laughs> And I respect Ariana bringing up blind items in uh, in in the after show. So, like <laughs> relatable queen, <laughs> our chronically uh, online girlies. Which? Oh no, I have to sneeze. Oh no, no, I no. went away. <laughs> <laughs> um, anywho, they're trying to like make the valley happen. 
I know. Um, Please like, stop. Like they put, why did they put them in the after That's show? That's just it. Like, I th- I'm so annoyed because the thing is, I was going to give the Valley a chance until they put them in the after show. And I was like, gosh, darn it, guys. You had, you got me with the trailer. Yeah. I was like, okay, this is going to be fun. Let's do it. And then you're, they were like, oh, let's just integrate them and, like, give them all. Like, let's all hear their horrible opinions about this situation. So like, now we don't want to watch their TV show. Why? Okay. But it's funny because at first they just showed, like, Jack's. Mm-hmm. Who was with? Who was Jax with? The Toms. Yeah, Jax and the Toms, and then Brittany and with Lala. Lala and Sheena and Kristen. And Sheena and Kristen, and yeah. and I already already just for them, I was like, okay, like why are we incorporating yeah, people okay. from the Valley? But at least mm-hmm. it's like people who used to be on Vanderpump Rules. No, and, and then people. there's like some after show sections with just the new people talking about the scenario, yeah. and you're like, why on earth why? would I care? <laughs> what? <laughs> And it's also like Vanderpump Rules like finally only just got an after show and now yeah. <laughs> you guys also get an after show like and That's I so know I, I think it's pretty rich because I know that we complained about them not integrating Southern Hospitality <laughs> into Southern Charm yeah. but this isn't the way to do it either. This isn't the way to do it like honestly I think putting Jax in at least is going to be enough of a tie. It's going like, to be fine. Um, yeah. Honestly the thing that made me want to watch The Valley most was that they're going to be covering the impending breakup or you know marriage problems of jackson britney and then also kristen saying i'd rather be on vpr yeah <laughs> i mean i kind of thought that it did seem a little bit interesting i was like oh this is kind of messy because these are people that like are gonna fight and they're also gonna be parents like i thought that mm-hmm. that was kind of like a cool concept it's like a little bit the in-between stage of housewives where they already have like kids that are like raising their children and like they're adults or they're like teenagers or whatever um I guess the people are adults. I don't know what I was going through that. <laughs> and then VPR, which was like messy 20 somethings, which is also like now like the new generation of Southern hospitality, right? So like yeah. this was the supposed to be the in-between stage. And I was fine with that. I could accept that. It did look a lot better than I thought. I definitely had to yeah. give it credit. But then yeah, I'm like, um, let's calm you down me. with You'll the after show. Okay. Um anywho, so this this lunch gets even worse. Um when Sheena's like, you know, it's been five months. And I'm going through the grieving process. She's like, Ariana has already grieved the loss and she's making millions of dollars. I'm not there yet. I know. I know. And I actually, so I actually had to go back to the first episode of this season because I was like, I seem to remember a confessional and and I was, I was proven right. So when Sheena and Ariana went to the Fairmount to go to the spa, Sheena says in her confessional, like, I don't think that Ariana has fully had a chance to process the trauma of like what she's gone through. Oh my gosh. And yeah. Uh. And she's like, and I think it's great that she's with Dan. And I think it's great that he and Brock and like whatever, like becoming friends. But you know, like I think that she still has a long way to go. And it's just like, so what happened here? (laughs) What happened? A very short period of time. It's been a week. She's grieved. She's done it. (laughs) She's done. Oh, she did it. She did it while we were in Tahoe. Didn't you get the message? The weekend. It was very reformed. She just like checked it off her to-do list, grieve my relationship with Tom (laughs) Sandoval, you know, unload trauma, move on with my life. (laughs) And it's just like, I just, I don't understand how they keep equating like, yeah, she's doing well now. Yeah. So therefore, she has grieved this loss and she has moved on and she's doing fine. But also, mm-hmm. even just for her to be like, I'm not there yet, literally makes it feel like you guys are on the same trajectory. And yeah. Like, and as if the feeling- same thing happened to the two of you when, like, you, like, she was literally in a nine year relationship with this person. This person cheated on her for seven months. Plus, I know. who knows how much before that and all of this like f- you know fishy stuff with the financials between the two of them where he wasn't being open and honest about that like he was giving away money to random people in 2020 like oh, yeah. so many different things were happening like ah, yeah it's, just, it's yeah. true uh it's so <laughs> frustrating and also later at the end of the episode you know ariana does debunk this that at the time mm-hmm. that he was cheating or mm-hmm. that she found out that he was cheating yeah she basically had like two thousand dollars left in her bank account because it was all going into something about her so Mm -hmm. like sheena knows this and she's continuing to go on this this narrative that like ariana's rich and like she doesn't need anything Mm -hmm. um 
Uh, Meanwhile, just, Sheena just so bought a two two point five million dollar house, and Lala just bought another house. Well, like, you guys are also doing fine. Here's the other thing: they have told us that they have profited off this. Lala literally put yeah. the down payment yeah. on her house, so yes. maybe you're not doing as well as Ariana, yeah. but you profited so much off of this as well. And she mm-hmm. let you; she was happy to do that. She did yeah. not mind, mm-hmm. as you had mentioned the other episode. Ariana went on Sheena's podcast first to tell her side of the story. Yeah. Like she gave that to yeah, her. To Sheena. Yeah. It's just like it's so insulting. And also, mm-hmm. sorry, I keep harping on this. No. I have been pretty like sympathetic to Sheena, I think, in our conversations. Like mm-hmm. I'm usually like, you know, she was hurt in this. And I yeah. understood that. I'm I don't think we should discount in, until she's now I've seen the show and I am. But at the mm-hmm. beginning, I was like, yeah. no, like I get it. Like she she's probably the second person who who has lost the most in this scenario. Mm -hmm. And I feel like people are more sympathetic to James about the, the like betrayal Mm -hmm. that he feels towards Tom Sandoval. Mm -hmm. But like, I did actually go into the season feeling really bad for Sheena. Like you can tell how upsetting the situation was for her. She was really good friends with Tom for a long time. She was really good friends with Raquel for a long time, but just like if she had just, been open like that and like i don't like uh just what she's doing now is not it like it's it's making me not feel bad for her when like i actually did feel bad for her before Mm -hmm. she's just making it so not only about her like i get it like there is parts that are about you that's okay you can feel your pain Mm -hmm. but when you start to villainize ariana at the same time that's when i'm like no yeah. I'm done. I'm I'm good on you, as Lala would say. <laughs> That's just it. That's just it. Like, it, there's very much one thing about, like, you know, going through, like, your own emotions and feelings, but then it's a very different thing to then turn around and be like, well, because I am now mad at Ariana, like, I'm now going to villainize Ariana, and I'm actually going to feed into Tom Sandoval's storylines to villainize Ariana and, like, to have this kind of calculated, you know, way of being instead of just like being in your feelings and being like yeah i'm really sad like i really wish that that had been like a friendship that could have continued to go and continue to grow and she doesn't get to have that and that would have been fine yeah and then also katie brings up (laughs) yeah and i loved this (laughs) he's like she's like this is the type of individual you want to be in your life like why like why are you fighting so hard for this dude Mm -hmm. like and then Sheena brings up of like who he was before and that like you know yeah. 12 years ago when they started the show she he was the only one who would like let her into the pictures and he was there for her um and then and she doesn't forget that and then Katie's like well let's try <laughs> and Lala's let's try. like <laughs> sorry no no well uh, yeah like I was gonna say like yeah like let's try but also like there was also times when you were super close with Katie, like you and Katie had a really good friendship as well. And there were times when you actually weren't close with Sandoval and you and Sandoval were fighting because you were friends with Ariana and you didn't like how he was treating her. Like you, you were creating conflict there too. Like, it's not like you and Sandoval have just had this like, you know, lovely, beautiful friendship over all of these years. Like you're just remember, and she's also like harping on like these like couple, like little tiny yeah. like, gestures and stuff that he's like made for her and it's just like why is that now more important than anything else that's happened in your friendship with ariana because clearly that is what you're prioritizing well this is it and the fact that you have to hold on to what he's done for you like years ago to justify Mm -hmm. keeping Mm -hmm. a relationship what i thought was really interesting is that when when katie's like well let's try to forget and move (laughs) on lala's like that's not fair and i just thought about literally from last episode where Lala and Tom Sandoval were fighting because Lala's like you're not allowing me to grow and you keep you keep bringing up my past and like Mm -hmm. I've evolved and like why do you keep talking about the past Mm -hmm. we're here she's like well hold on let's let's remember the past let's let's like it's just like the the hypocrisy of what they're choosing to like I know I know (laughs) and it like the I don't know what's happened in like Sheena and Lala's like friendship but the way that these two are like this like bonded pair is like so like even Katie and Ariana are not like that in sync like there's something weird like weirdly codependent about Ariana as Lala and Sheena in this moment and the way that like Lala is so intensely like backing up Sheena like it's like Lala just kind of chooses whoever she's backing up this season last season she was backing up Katie this season she's backing up Sheena and like it just doesn't even matter yeah there's yeah I do wonder 
what went down there because it's true like she like lala doesn't even like tom she's literally never liked tom so i guess she's fighting these battles for sheena (laughs) on sheena's behalf for her right to be friends with tom sandoval like why uh i just love that katie just says it like how it is she's like why are you guys fighting so hard to be Mm -hmm. like friends with this person they're like just like cut ties move on like be a good person and then there is a scene where like there must have been a cut because i feel like they were doing like everyone was fine and then Mm -hmm. and then katie is kind of crying Mm -hmm. but it happened quite quickly yeah so i feel like maybe we missed the onset of that conversation but she's like she's like this man has never offered me a sincere apology he interfered with my marriage he made everyone think i'm a monster including my Mm ex-husband and people are having trouble getting over this trash bag of a human mm-hmm. what, a, what a, i had to write that down because it's just like <laughs> bravo <laughs> like, i love it <laughs> i know that's just it like the way that tom sandoval has treated katie for all of these years the way that he treated stassi like there's clearly something in this man that hates strong women strong women that can see right through him and loves 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 these women that like have no problem with any of the issues or any of the things that he does um she knows. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the and like he started having these problems with ariana and changing the way that he saw her when she mm-hmm. started to not blindly just follow him anymore yeah exactly exactly ah uh, lord and then anyway so th- that happened yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it did <laughs> and now we move on to a team with a scene with lisa and tom at tom tom yeah um <sighs> so weird Tom, yeah, I Tom did. brings Lisa ice cream is basically what this scene is. <laughs> yeah, Tom brings Lisa ice cream. And they just harped on it so much. He was like, yeah, do you yeah. want some ice cream? It I got so us random. ice cream. Let's have ice cream. Oh, yeah, you're going to eat the ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> He was like, oh my god, you're gonna have some? Oh my god, yay! With his, like, children's necklace uh, that he's I wearing know. and, like, his lightning bolt uh, earring. And, like, in, in the year of Taylor Swift's friendship bracelets, how dare you be wearing that necklace? How dare it's you? Um, ruining, you're ruining so many things. Ruining the white nail polish, ruining the friendship bracelets. It's uh, too much. I did uh, really like when they're like, oh, like, why? He's like, why didn't Lisa consult yeah. us when they brought the that. old um pump, pump shine yeah yeah and the oh, pump sorry, chef the shot, to yeah. uh, to tom tom and she's mm-hmm. like um we would not consult a 2.5 percent owner <laughs> i did love that i love it drag him drag him lisa get him <laughs> and uh all of these things just remind you of like how much these two men have gotten just put in their lap but they continue mm-hmm. to think that they are yeah worth so much more than they are basically (laughs) it just reminds me of like how insufferable he was what was that season six or season seven when they were like in the process of opening tom tom and he was just like he needed to be involved in everything he needed to do everything as if he was like a 50 50 partner you couldn't believe that tom and lisa tom and lisa lisa and todd todd (laughs) Is that his name? Ken. Ken. Ken, 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 Ken Todd. Todd. Ken Todd. I was like, wait a minute, where am I going? <laughs> Who am I? Um, when, <laughs> that they wouldn't like involve him or think that he was like a serious business person. Meanwhile, like he like it just they couldn't even person. when they went to Vegas and they had the meeting for the lights. Yeah. Like they, they couldn't, couldn't even, even get there on time because they were time. hungover. Yeah, because like, they were partying literally all night. Or when they like couldn't find uh, when they couldn't get it together to make the mission statement for their bar, yeah. they had to like do shrooms to like figure <laughs> yeah. it out. Oh, like, oh, mm. try. Anyways, I'm not. That's, that, we can have a whole other topic. On Failing that, upwards. <laughs> Failing yeah. upwards is basically the moral of this story. Yeah, they did it pretty effectively. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, so then yeah, they they have ice cream. I wrote Tom is a new man. He he brought ice cream. Um, <laughs> uh lisa's like you know i don't want to see anyone this depressed i don't care what they've done just to lay that on thick mm-hmm. and then and then tom's like i'm really worried about rachel like i just miss her i just want to give her a hug <laughs> and then lisa's like i didn't want to tell you this but i spoke to her at length yeah <laughs> i had no desire to tell you this but i'm gonna tell you right now 
I also just, for some reason, just the, at length, it was very like, mm-hmm. I spoke to her yeah. and I have access to her long, that you don't have. a lengthy conversation. You didn't get to have one with her. She's not talking to you. She doesn't like you anymore. I need, I am pivotal to this plot line. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I deserve to be on this show still. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anywho, so we find out that Lisa has spoken to Rachel mm-hmm. and she did not have very good things to say about Tom. She actually she felt, li- yeah, she she felt manipulated by him and she doesn't love him anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tom does not like this. Yeah. <laughs> not happy and he and like and the way that he then kind of like portrays like her like mental health institution that she was in as if it's like this crazy place that's like brainwashed her and made turned him against her turned her against him um as if it wasn't just like doing exactly what it was supposed to do which was like you know be an outlet for her to you know talk about her feelings and what she went through and like realize and have some perspective on the situation um hasn't fully fixed her but you know she's working on it yeah Give it's like time. uh and he's he says yeah he's like you know like she wants she said that people stay there longer and like mm-hmm. he thinks she should come back and face them and that like anytime he doesn't agree with them 100 percent, they like try to basically like get him to like separate from her but it's like 100 mm-hmm. percent she needed to separate yeah. from her and him yeah and like that and was good it. for her mental health and, and like, that's what <laughs> and that's what he was doing to her is he was getting her to be like isolated from all the other girls and like not be friends with any of the other girls and like so that he could like control her mind and like decide what she should do and how she should behave and how she should dress and all of the things that she should have a seven month long affair with him like she was brainwashed by this guy and totally. he's upset that she's no longer under he's she's no longer under his control yeah, now he's just trying to spin that in a different way in the narrative, knowing that that's going to come out using his confessionals mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. it. Exactly. Um, and then, <laughs> and then Lisa's like, "You need to talk to her," and he's like, "She blocked me." And then she's like, oh, "She blocked you." Well, then it's over. And then like dramatic <laughs> music comes. <laughs> I was like, that felt so abrupt. <laughs> Did she block him though? Because didn't she block him like recently when it, her birthday is in September? So I thought she blocked him in September. Oh, I don't know, but it was it was just so funny. It was like, She's oh, she blocked you. Well, then it's, <laughs> yeah. it's done. We that's can't. It. We got to move on. That's it. That's when, it's when you know the relationship's over. <laughs> I do at least like that she was like, you need to move on. Like I think you need yeah. to move forward. Like yeah. this is your and past, which is, which is true, which is accurate. Yes, we'll give her that. Yes. So then <laughs> there is a scene with Lisa and Lala, and essentially here we just we learn that Lala is going to be trying to have a second baby, which mm-hmm. she does so Did yay yeah. congrats to lala, congrats to lala. 10 point second door. <laughs> and she's gonna rebrand give them lala and i yes. guess take lala a little bit out of it so that they can which makes sense right so it can stand on its own and mm-hmm. like it's not only attracting like vanderpump rules fans yes but what are you gonna call it <laughs> give them give them <laughs> give them <laughs> give them name them give them <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of confused. I, <laughs> yeah, we'll I, find out, I guess, eventually when the rebrand's I, done. Yes, I did appreciate that she's like with "Give Them Lala." I was really like shoving myself down your throat, yes, which is like 100%. really what she used to be like. Mm-hmm. And I, I do appreciate that she was able to recognize that. <laughs> yes, yeah. But once again, here we are with Lala being like, you know, no, Lisa, you cannot change my mind. Talking about like the fact that she's like wants to have a baby by herself and like use a sperm donor and not have like a human man that can be you know potentially involved in this child's life um and lala is like is is the one that is so able to be like you know firm in her boundaries and like be like my mind my mind is made up and i have made this decision meanwhile ariana her mind is made up and it's crazy it's unbelievable that ariana has made up her mind and is sticking to this decision it's so true that's such such a a good point such a hypocrite Rules for me, not for what is it? Rules for, for thee, thee, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so then we move on to another scene uh, with Jane. There's a lot of different scenes. There's a lot in this of little episode. scenes in this one. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have James and Allie on like a kind of date with Tom Schwartz yeah. and Joe. Oh, that was so weird. So I hated that. So yeah. Thoughts on Joe. <laughs> she's just weird and uh, like you know i think we knew that that was what she was gonna be kind of like and i saw somebody on tiktok talk about how she's like the personification of gen z's 
doing impressions of millennials on TikTok. Ah. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> that's exactly which what? I really why no, do you... why do Gen Zs think that that's the way that we are? Because <laughs> that's that's because we're cringe and we say rawr and like we you know we had the whole like oh. that rawr phase and we like we're like ooh we're so weird and kooky. And then we're um, like awkward turtle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, turtle soup. <laughs> exactly so we're cringe and that's how they or chuggy i guess um and that's that's how gen z's see us and so that and i just thought that that was an accurate representation of of who joe is that she's the personification of millennials by through the lens of gen z no i don't want to i don't like that at all she (laughs) just like yeah she has a lot of really weird energy yeah um she does like very and, like, the exaggerated whole, yes and very like pick me girly kind of too with the whole like oh you spit on my arm oh my god uh, yeah <laughs> it's a great it was, impression it was it was <laughs> oh really awkward um and but to, but to be honest i i see why they work because yes schwartz is super weird and awkward yeah. and she's yeah. super weird and awkward but yeah. when you put them together like Gross. You don't want to be around that. Like mm-hmm. it's too much. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> but good. they could totally live in their own world together. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Which is also kind of why I feel like like that was like his rebound person is that like he needed the the person that was gonna kind of like never call him out on anything and totally feed into absolutely everything that he did. And that's obviously the opposite of Katie. But I think that Schwartz deep down really does need somebody who's gonna call him out a little bit and yeah. challenge him. Or else him. he like doesn't know what to do. No. Well, why do you think he was friends with Sandoval? <laughs> or is friends with Sandoval? <laughs> that's he's true. like he's just very happy to play like second to Sandoval. Yeah, and that's exactly. why it works for Sandoval too. Yeah, exactly. Um, as we have pointed out, he quite literally is in the sidecar yes. to Tom Sandoval. Yes. Yeah. Um yeah, awesome. so this is interesting. I love Allie. Allie is the yeah. most well-adjusted person on this cast. Mm-hmm. 100%. <laughs> and I love that she's into astrology. I think it's so fun. I love that she knows all these like little things. Uh, I really like her. And yeah, so she's just kind of like, I don't know much about Joe. I've not heard great things, especially from Katie. Like, didn't she move in with Schwartz right after they got divorced? Like, yep. no thanks. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, basically, we just got like a weird a weird scene. And then Sandoval's um, at Sir, too. Um, yeah. And then... Okay, and then Joe's like, "Yay, Sandoval's here!" And yeah, we're like, what? Oh, I know, gross. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was weird. And then Sandoval comes, and then he proceeds to try to buy James James's love with a pair of Chloe glasses. It seems. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, yes, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because so, that's what he does. He, that's yeah. what he's doing right now. He's just giving away stuff, giving away ice cream, giving away shoes, giving away sunglasses, giving away compliments. You totally away called it. Can. He's like, he's like totally doing that. Yeah, he's love bombing um, these people. And I feel like in the moment it kind of worked. And then, but then like Tom, not Tom, James and Brock were talking about it in the after show. And mm-hmm. James, I think like the illusion broke. And he's like, yeah, yeah, he like just like gave it to me. And it was like really slow and dramatic. Yeah. And they were both saying that it was like really cringe. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's good. I do appreciate that James has like that's just it. I really like Ali and I really like James. I like that I like these people together, and I like that they have good perspective on these things. Yeah. No, nope, never thought that I would say that in my life. But no, I same. Appreciate it. Same. I think Ali's really good for him. Yeah. And I, I think, think so she too. makes him want to change yes. for himself. Yes. Yeah. So I think that was essentially that scene. Unless yeah. anything else you yeah, remember no, that jumped out. No. Joe, um gross. then schwartz and joe go on a date question yeah. mark like why do we have to uh, keep seeing these two people interact like we don't want much. to it's too much that's just it they're bringing in other people and i don't like it like also joe has a confessional like why i know, I know. and she couldn't brush her hair and i'm sorry like it, not everything should be about an appear about your appearance and like your lifestyle or whatever but like you couldn't just brush your hair like what well the internet <laughs> the, the internet is ablaze with like this woman is a, is a hairstyle yeah. <laughs> look at and madison like, lacroix's hair <laughs> and like but like it's fine like I, your average day of filming i don't really care what you look like but like a confessional look yeah. you didn't want to at least like brush your hair uh, maybe it goes with the vibe i don't right, know yeah. I don't think my, it's like the undone look i don't know i'm not into it um yeah, those were literally my notes. They're yeah, super those weird were together. <laughs> I could just, see it. <laughs> nothing, nothing there. Um, okay, and then, okay, this is where, like, a lot of stuff happens. Yeah. We go to, like, there's a girls' night and there's a boys' night. Nothing happens at the boys' night. They no. wear tuxes and yeah. 
self indulgent. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have with the girls' night, um, and this is where the girls are fighting. And so, and it's, it's some pretty good content, honestly. Like it's pretty exciting. This there is, is some good content. Good. Um, so they all go over to Ali and James's for Ali to do their astrology yeah. reading. And Ali makes the saddest charcuterie platter. <laughs> Did you see that? I didn't notice that. Oh my god, no, it was like it was I think somebody on the internet was like, she made them lunchables. <laughs> Oh man, how much did you love Lunchables though? <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course, obviously delicious, but like it, that was basically like it's not a charcuterie platter. Like, don't you yeah. can't call it. It's, it's cheese and crackers and some pepperoni. <laughs> like, <it's> different. <laughs> No, I, didn't. I can't oh, say that yeah. I noticed that. It's so funny. We also yeah. learned that Ali sings and plays guitar and basically is like yeah. wants to be mini Taylor Swift. Yeah, that that was really cute too. That... And they were going to go to the Eras concert and I was like, I'm so jealous. <laughs> it's uh, never going to yeah, happen I'm for me. Too. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, so did you clock that this is clearly the same day that Sheena had that conversation with... Um, Mm-hmm. LVP she's because wearing, she's wearing the same thing it's either the same day or she just wore that jumpsuit twice <laughs> I mean but like her hair styled the same like that's true, I'm that's pretty true. sure it's the same day You're and right. it's just like girl you literally had the balls to go to like Lisa's if... house and just yeah. shit talk and then go yeah. immediately there yeah, and like not dinner. say anything yeah. and like just be like we're friends I love you I'm so happy for you I love you <laughs> yeah well and 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 like I think it's interesting that they like they edited those scenes to be so far apart like maybe hoping that you weren't gonna notice oh, that true. it was the same outfit but like they were so close together and those were definitely like the way that they sliced it it's not supposed to look like it's the same day it was clearly it's, all the same day though because right. Lisa was also wearing oh my Lisa was wearing the same thing that she was wearing when she spoke to Tom to when she spoke to um Lala. Lala? No. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this whole episode was filmed in a day. They're like, okay, this is uh this is Lisa's filming day, guys. So let's uh do the rounds. Yeah. I mean, oh God, those are, uh, yeah, I did pick up on those things. Wow. Okay, I'm about to go back actually and rewatch that cuz I didn't notice that at all. <laughs> it's okay. I don't think you no, need to rewatch it, it for I think it's it. Worth but... it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um so really quick, um Ali does their like astrology sh- signs, Sheena um has a need for a partnership no surprise there you need to fill your cup before you fill others and mm-hmm. i was just like that is not my i don't think that's how anyone else sees sheena like <laughs> sheena sees herself as just this like eternally yeah. like selfless person doing everything for everyone else but i don't think it's that i think it's that she doesn't want to pick a side ever yeah and then she picks the wrong side but she also mm-hmm. does make things about her all the time so like what do we do yeah, I don't know. I yeah, I think sometimes this astrology stuff doesn't fully check out. Um, <laughs> Less on the astrology maybe, side, but more on her confessional explaining it and being like, yes, that right. is so me. I, I am right. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think it also like it supports the narrative of what they're doing this season. So that's yes. convenient. Yes, yes, totally. <laughs> Katie was like she thinks she was a man in her past life and that's why she has BDE yeah I loved that I loved that oh my god she can do no wrong in my books oh uh, she's so funny she's like no wonder I have BDE I literally used to have <laughs> male parts <laughs> Love Katie's that just Katie. killing it Katie's she just really killing is. it this season she's, she's just coming to her own I think she's just like so relaxed in comparison to what who she used to be on these this these this these seasons and this yeah. episode, these uh, series um yeah I love it for her it, so then Sheena asks Ariana like how she feels she's been processing all of this and mm-hmm. then, so Ariana debunks the whole she's making millions, or I guess she is yeah. now, but she didn't have it before. She's like, the internet thinks that I've been making millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. And she's like, the week before I found out about the cheating, I was not in a good place financially. I was yeah. down to my last, like, $2,000. Mm-hmm. And I feel like no one really said anything they were just like shut up that doesn't support what we've been saying (laughs) yeah we all thought that you were rich so we're gonna go with that (laughs) they're like you're gonna edit this out right (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's just it and i think that like it's so it's so hard to know somebody's like actual financial situation just looking at them right like you can be somebody who's extremely like wealthy and like well off and like be like crippled with debt and you have like no idea and like clearly like you know, I think Lala is an example of somebody who seems like she 
has made very smart financial decisions. She's been able to set herself up properly. And so for her to kind of like be judging Ariana and being like, you can't, you should have made, moved out. You should have been the one to move out. You knew he was never going to be the one to move out. So obviously you have to be the one to move out. And it's weird that you didn't move out. And like, I moved out. And it's like, well, clearly you guys had different financial lives, right? Like, and one yeah. person's financial situation doesn't dictate somebody else. It's like, just because you guys are on the same show, you have a sense of probably how much each other is making, but you don't know the situation behind it. And yeah, no, and it does not sound like Tom Sandoval set Ariana up successfully for it's so unfair her financial future either, right? Like, no. he was clearly doing some shady stuff, like moving money around, asking for money, not giving her accurate information about what they were spending or how they were using their money. And, you know, they had a house together. They have equity together. Like, these are situations. and It's just unfair for people to even, like, have an opinion on the way that she mm. chooses to, you know, set herself up. She said yeah. that. She's like, I'm trying to move to the next step in a financially responsible way. Like, yeah. I am trying to set myself up for success. Uh, yeah. And I don't know why anyone, like, everyone's having such a hard time Mm -hmm. understanding that mm -hmm. um and then it kind of starts to get heated from here yeah um they're kind of talking about james and how you know ariana's not thrilled that he went to the guys night and is hanging mm -hmm. out with tom mm -hmm. um and she kind of says like that he's betraying himself because she's like i know that he's upset mm -hmm. not just for me but like because of the betrayal that he's felt and yeah. Lala's like, no, I think everyone's just worried about losing you as a friend. Yeah. Which is so unfair. It is so unfair. And, like, it's it's annoying, too, because we know that, like, James is still not in a good place with Sandoval. And we know that Lala and Sheena are seemingly in good places or better places with Tom Sandoval. So, I don't know, this kind of, like, deflection of, like, well, what about him? Like, how's this going? Like, what? how are you, how are you going to treat him? Will this be a reflection on how you're going to treat us if we do this? And, like, I don't know, it just feels sneaky. <sighs> yeah, it's uh, it, it's interesting. And then Ali's, Ali's like, it's both, to be honest, which I think is fair, right? Um, and then Lala's like, oh, well, as time passes, like, healing starts. And again, it's like... Mm. Can we say the same thing for you and Randall? Yeah. Like, can we yeah. do the same thing for, like, Sheena and Shay? Like, and if they <laughs> wanted to bring their exes into the show? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just... And then um, Lala's like, of course you can't see it because you were directly impacted by it. And Lala's... Uh, and Ariana's like, well, I see the truth of who he really is. Mm -hmm. um, and then it just kind of goes into... Yeah. the whole thing it does it really devolves from there like they they do it does feel like they end up just like fighting about kind of like so many different things i think our like lala is fighting on behalf of sheena so she's trying to like defend her and like get ahead of that then there's this whole thing about lala kind of like her thinking that ariana shouldn't be holding on to anger because lala's gone through this similar situation so lala now gets to dictate and like tell her like hey don't do what i did even though, like, I'm sure that Lala is still holding on to anger for Randall. So, like, why does it, like, matter to Lala how much anger Ariana holds on to for Tom Sandoval? Like, there's just, like, little things. Yeah. And then Lala and Katie just fight for a bit. Like It just doesn't add up. I'll try to break it down for those who have not yeah. watched and want to see how this goes. I literally have to keep <laughs> pausing it because it was going yeah, so quickly. So much, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so then Lala's like, well, what if James was to get back with Sandoval and like want to be friends again? And Ariana's mm -hmm. like, well, I wouldn't F with that. Like, that's not mm -hmm. okay with me. And then Lala's like, so, okay, Sheena, now I think it's clear that, you know, you forgiving him would definitely impact your friendship. And it's like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Ariana has been saying that from the day one. Like, it's not, this isn't yeah. a big revelation. Not news. Yeah. Sheena basically in her confessional is like, I did nothing she's like i wanted yeah. to talk to her about dancing with the stars and i wanted to talk to her about sandoval but seeing her, this reaction she's like i'm just gonna sit back and let keep my mouth shut which also mm -hmm. kind of sucks that now like lala is just fighting her fight mm -hmm. but to be fair like she should bring that up with her like on her yeah. own like lala yeah. shouldn't have been instigating this conversation in public no and this is not the situation in which sheena should be talking to ariana in general about these things like right like if she wants to have a real productive conversation like having it in a group setting with like four or three other people like doesn't make any sense no definitely so lala is like i understand 
where you're at, but I don't want to see what happened Mm -hmm. to me happen to you, which is what you're just talking about before. She's like, you know, like I've been there, like I had so much resentment and Ariana's like, no, I'm, I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, you know, you're so concerned over like who's friends with him and who's not. And like, Mm -hmm. you know, I was like that. And like, you know, what was her quote? It was like, if you drink poison, like you're, you're going to drink poison thinking it won't kill you, but then Think you, or you drink poison thinking it'll like, kill like someone hold, else, but holding, it kills doesn't yeah, it kills holding, you. Yeah, holding on to anger is like drinking poison. Yeah, it'll kill your <laughs> drinking poison and hoping it'll kill the other person, yeah, but then it basically. kills you. Yeah. Um, but it's just like we haven't ever seen her change her stance on that from Randall, mm-hmm. which is also I think why it's so off putting. Yeah. And now all of a sudden she's kind of like trying to frame it as like, oh, don't do what i did because i i don't want that for my friend and you're like i don't really buy that you're saying this because you don't want this for your friend yeah and that's just it like you're framing it as if you're concerned for ariana but what you're really concerned about is how ariana treats sheena so like you're not you're saying one thing you're feeling another you're saying one thing that you're doing one thing and you're actually doing the other like you don't really care what ariana does yeah. As long as it so, doesn't have Sheena, I guess. So then Katie does try to defend Ariana and she's like, you can't apply your situation to every situation. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. this is where it really just kind of goes downhill. Yeah. Um, and Lala's like, oh, if you if we're going to start comparing situations, you're not going to like what I have to say. And then Katie is like, what do you have to say? Like, say it with your whole chest. Yeah. Expletive. Yeah. <laughs> which i love katie is the only person i think who can actually go toe-to-toe with lala and Mm -hmm. lala is like not realizing that and lala is still being she's like disengage disengage and it's like no katie can katie can go toe-to-toe with you she can go all day katie is trained (laughs) like katie is ready (laughs) like fighter one ready (laughs) like lala i I don't think you're prepared (laughs) and i feel like no one will stand up to lala like i feel like lala is just used to being the loudest and the most assertive and aggressive yeah and everybody thinks that she she wants she wants to have this reputation of being somebody that's like a pit bull that's like a rottweiler um but she's not she's like but she's even said that park yeah, she, that, that, she's, yeah. She said that out loud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To 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 Raquel, I think in season nine, season eight, season eight, I think. Um, she said that she was a Rottweiler, she was a pit bull or something. And it's like, no, like yeah, you're a Chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> like, then she's just like disengage, disengage, and I literally wrote like Lala can't play this game with Katie. No, she um, know. And then Lala's like, it is worse for me. Like, she's never free of her ex. Um, oh, and that's when she actually says the whole, like, harboring resentment will eat you alive. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Lala's like, Sheena wrote so hard for her. Um, oh, sorry, not Sheena. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. These are so, <laughs> no, these so notes are going so, on. <laughs> it was just so much back and that's forth. These, it's notes so are so, yeah. these notes are so hard to take. Honestly, I think if you're going to watch, you should just go watch this section because, just, like, yeah, clearly. Literally. I am not doing it justice. No, you're um, doing amazing. You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lala's like, I rode so hard for you. Like, why are you bringing this out of me? Why are you bringing mm-hmm. this out of me? As if yeah. I hate that. It's like, you have no control of your emotions and she poked you and now you just have to explode and that's your yes. thoughts on you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's my fault that I, it's your fault that I'm this riled up. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that annoys me so much. Um, and then Katie's like, it was a bit much. And then Lala's like, you're a bit much all the time. Yeah. And it's just like, ooh, there's like, we've hit nerves. Yeah. Like the girls are fighting. Like it is, something is happening here. Um, do you know what this just made me think of? You know the Mean Girls scene where Regina mm-hmm. George uh, distributes all of the burn yeah, books and then like is. everyone is fighting like animals yeah. and then she's yeah. just like in the hallway? I feel like this is Tom Sandoval just like <laughs> looking at all the girls <laughs> oh, fighting. so true. Oh my god, that's exactly what it is. Uh, and they did it. They played right into his hand. He they loves it. Right He's just into sitting his back, hand. sitting pretty. It's not, I don't know. I, I mean, I know how we got here, but like, I, I'm yeah. just like, how do we get here? I, re- I regret um, that we got here. Yeah. And then Allie's, like, poor Allie is trying to rein them back in. She's like, you know, birth charts show that we all communicate differently. Like, and then also she from Mean Girls is like, why can't we all just get along? Yeah. Like, and then someone's like, you don't even go here. Yeah. I love Mean Girls. Okay. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, yeah. Um, it was But it was then. Interesting. Then the weirdest part of all this is Lala's like, 
I'm sorry if I made it seem like I'm comparing our situations, Ariana. Here, read my birth chart. And then they all laugh yeah, and we're all that was, over it. That was, that was kind of cute, actually. That was a kind of fun moment. But, but it was yeah. just like... It was like it was so heightened. Then it was just Is like, it? Ha, it got ha, so ha. up here, and then it just quickly went. They just but, dissipated. Yeah, but that's also probably because they are like this is what they do for a living, right? Like you're supposed to get up here, you're supposed to like deliver at this level, and then you're supposed to be able to walk away and like, yeah, that's true. Disengage. <laughs> that's true. Um. So yeah, I was really happy, and then we got yeah. a mid-season trailer. Yeah. Which seems like more of the same yeah it, it didn't feel like a, like considering last season's mid-season trailer was so good this was uh, a bit of a, a letdown in comparison it's gonna be a pretty bad season yeah it's yeah. not great i'm angry every time yeah so how do you feel at the end of this episode <laughs> <laughs> and then also to watch the episode and then to watch the after shows and then yeah. we'll watch the watch yeah. what happens live it's it's a it's a chore it's a chore it's not it's feeling it's like not, homework it's not summer house it's not summer house which it's i'm excited to watch <laughs> it's not so. Lindsay calling her fiance out her sober fiance out for doing drugs not one episode no. but two episodes long i know i know yeah and i haven't even watched this week's episode so i oh, know oops, i spoiled that it's okay i knew that i knew that there was gonna be more stuff to <laughs> so yeah yeah but anyways let us know how you guys are feeling about this week's episode if you did watch it if you're not we totally understand yeah we're Sounds here like for a lot you of not. We're, we're doing the work for you <laughs> we'll do um our best. i will get better at doing recaps no, i'm sorry my sure notes clearly it. were a little bit uh <laughs> not structured <laughs> well i mean very structured but there's just a lot going on there's a lot going on do you like our our Lisa <laughs> renditions? Should we stop doing? Actually, don't tell me because if you're like stop yeah. it, I'll be like. Ah. It's gonna be impossible. <laughs> it's impossible to stop. Uh, until next time.